Hey guys, it's Young Minds HS here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to install Rocket Mod on your Unturned server. So, I'm sorry this video has taken a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So, what you want to do is come to the link in the description, it will be rocketmod.net, and what you want to do is click download on the top one. At the moment, for me, it's Rocket Mod 4, but as Rocket Mod 5 is in development, that could be it. So you want to hit download and then you just want to like save it to your desktop or wherever you feel comfortable with. And then you just want to go to where you saved it, right click on it and you'll need to extract it as it is a zip file. So just go extract here. Then you should get these three folders, modules, scripts and readme. So what you want to do is go to Steam Type in unturned, right click, hit properties, local files, browse local files, and then bring that down. Then what you want to do is go to scripts and modules and just drag them into unturned and then press replace the files in the destination. Then you want to go to your server. If you don't already have a server and um, look in the description there will be a link to my playlist on how to make a server and so your friends can join or you can click up in the top right where there will be a card so you just want to go ahead and launch your server and then this will take a few seconds and it should say at the top rocket unturned v whatever version you installed for unturned and then whatever the latest version of unturned is then this will load up and that will basically give you what you want. So while that's loading, we'll go ahead and check out the wiki. And if you've struggled with this, this will basically give you um, certain like, ways to install it. So say if you're having an issue, I recommend checking this out. But what we're going to look at is basically how to sort out the plugins. So what you want to do is go back to the file manager, go to servers. I think it was a uh, young mind unturned we set up. Go into rocket and then there'll be a couple things here. So you want to go ahead and open these up. And then these are certain things inside rocket that you can tweak. So for example, say if you want the ability to kick people then you can set that to true and that will be a command so you can basically type rkick in console and then the name and that will let you kick them you can also put the command admin so if you want to admin yourself you would set this to true and then you would put in console admin and then your steam id airdrop this is basically when a care package with supplies comes from the sky every uh, 15 minutes or so so you can set this to true and basically all these are pretty self-explanatory so god mode you know gives you god mode so you can't die so that's what you do for those then you can go to plugins and if you want to install any original plugins so say if you go here and you go um, unturned mods and then you go to unturned planet this will basically give you some mods that you can custom install so say if you wanted to install uh, Zup Home or if you wanted any of these mods you would basically just drag them in there. Then logs you don't need to worry about it will basically just keep a log of what's running on the server and then the rest of this stuff you don't really need to worry about. The only thing is permissions so this is basically where you can set up groups depending on who can use permissions. So let's say we wanted to make an ID called um, moderator. So this person will basically just moderate your server and they'll have the ability to kick people. So we'd have display name, moderator, prefix and suffix you can leave color uh, you can basically set that so say if you wanted all your moderators to be uh, blue so they would be blue 
priority. Um, this is basically how important they are, so it doesn't really matter. I just recommend leaving this at 100 for everyone. And then permissions, you would need to give them the... So if we open the commands, you would need to give them a kick. So just go back into the config. Um, yeah, so you'd have to give them permission. So you basically just, to add another permission to a class, you just copy the previous one and paste it and just make sure you got it exactly right. So now you can see that's the exact thing. And then you want to put in there our kick. And now that basically means they have the kick command on a zero second cooldown. Say if you only wanted to let people use a command, so like here for example, we have heal. So say if you wanted the moderators to also to be able to heal people, but you didn't want them to abuse it, so maybe you only let them heal every 2 minutes, so 120 seconds. Or maybe you want them to be able to no clip. So then you would put in, I think it's a uh, no V, which is um, no clip, I might be wrong. And you wanted them to be able to no clip every five seconds, let's say. And you can basically go through every command in here and drag it in and that will add it to classes. And then you can just assign people to classes as they join. So, this has been my Rocket tutorial. If this has been useful, uh, be sure to leave a like. If you think this could help someone else out, definitely share the video. If you're new, subscribe. And if you have any questions or are just struggling, definitely comment it down below and I'll try and get back to you. If not, uh, join my Discord and um, just drop me a message on there and uh, I'll get back to it as soon as possible. Anyway guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.